Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, let's do some really fun paper crafting. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. And thank you to everyone who is supporting me in any positive way. I really do appreciate it. And here is today's really sweet project. We are going to make this beautiful autumn themed holder to hold some of those cups or bath products, anything that you might want to put in it. And this is so sweet because it has a drop front. So you can see that I have two cups on the inside. These say happy fall, but you're able to fit so many different things in here. When finished, this will be 11 inches tall seven inches wide and three inches deep. And you can see that it's a very nice size carrier, able to hold a whole bunch of goodies that you might want to put in here. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So to make today's project, here is what we're going to need. I am going to be working with this beautiful paper by My Mind's Eye, and it's from the Gingham Foundry Collection. And this particular paper is Cornflower. And I'm going to work with the front and the back for this project for a well-coordinated look. Now, if you're looking for this paper, it is 994-6424703. And it is from my Mind's Eye Gingham Foundry Collection. And it's the Cornflower page. So for those of you who are members of my monthly members club at the Poshi level and higher, I will be sending out the written supply list for this. So we're going to need two pieces that measure two and three quarters by four and three quarters. We need one piece that measures two and three quarters by six and three quarters. We have two pieces that are three and a half by six and three quarters. We have three pieces that are six and three quarters by three and three quarters. We have two pieces that are six and three quarters by 10 and three quarters. And we have two pieces that are 11 by 14. And this black 11 by 14 is the Dollar Tree poster board. You get five pieces in a pack. You don't have to have the Dollar Tree poster board. You can join pieces together to create 11 by 14 inch pieces. And we're going to need two pieces that measure two and seven eighths by two and three quarters. So even though we have a lot of pieces, I think you're going to be amazed at how easy it is to put this project together. So I am bringing in my scoreboard and on the 14 inch side, we're going to score at three, at seven, and at 11 on one piece only. Then on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at two as far as we can go. Then we'll need to flip it because we're out of space. So we'll start at two again until we meet that original two score. Then we'll flip it over to the opposite end on the 11 inch side and score at two. Then we're going to flip it and score at two until we meet that original two score. So now that we have our first piece scored, we are going to bring in our second piece and we're going to score this one a little bit differently. So we're going to score on the 14 inch side at three and at seven. Then we're going to rotate it to the 11 inch side. And again, we're going to score at two as far as we can go. And we'll flip it, score at two until we meet that original two score. Then we'll rotate it to the opposite 11 inch side. We're going to score at two, flip it, score at two until we meet the original two score. So now let's go ahead and fold and burnish all of our scores. So on the piece where we scored from this end to this end, we are going to remove 
the bottom panel all together. And your piece is going to look like this. So now we're going to turn it on the side and we're going to angle everywhere that we have a score. And right here, I'm just doing a very slight angle because I'll be matching it up with the other piece. But here we're just angling and angling. So now I'm going to take my tape runner. You can use your double stick tape on this, but I am just going to take my tape runner and fold those in. The top two, we don't fold that. Fold that in. And go ahead and smooth that out. Now at this point, we would ordinarily go ahead and join it to the other piece, but we're not going to do that just yet because we have some pieces that we need to place down. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take my pieces that measure three and three quarters by six and three quarters, and I'm going to place one here on the inside See, that's the inside because you can see where I folded over those pieces. So I am just going to take my tape runner. You can use your double stick tape for this part as well. You can even run it through your Xyron. I am just using my tape runner so that you guys will know you can certainly use the tape runner on a project like this. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to place it down. And when I placed it down, I'm placing it down so I have this nice border on the side and it's not hitting that score mark. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take my remaining two pieces and I'm going to place them in these two positions. So the ends where I have three inch panels, I won't be placing those there just yet. So again, I'm going to take my tape runner to lay down my tape and y'all I'm doing this for demonstration purposes if I was actually making this to sell or to gift I would lay this down with double stick tape or my Xyron so again I'm working with the pieces that measure three and three quarters by six and three quarters I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it right here. And the reason why I'm doing this now is because it's easier to go ahead and cover these two pieces and join them than to try to work with that very large piece all at once. So now that we have these two pieces covered, and so now I'm going to take my piece that measures two and three quarters by six and three quarters, put some tape on it, and we'll place it down. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece. We're going to put it down just like this. And now I have these three sections on the front covered, the in this section on the inside covered. Now I want to place a piece right here and the piece that I'll be placing is going to be one of the pieces that measure three and a half by six and three quarters. But before I do, I am going to go ahead and punch a hole here because it's going to be easier to punch this hole going through two pieces than it will be going through three pieces. So we will go back and punch the hole, but for right now, we need it to pre-punch it because it would be too difficult going through. So now I'm going to take the piece that measures three and a half by six and three quarters, 
and I'm going to go ahead and just place down some tape. It's going to be a little bit too long, but we're going to fix that. So now I'll take this piece and when I put it down, I'm making sure that I leave space in between the score marks. So I've placed that down there. Now I'll flip it over and I'm going to take my stylus and create my score there. And then I'm going to fold that over at the top. And so now I need to go back in and finish punching my hole all the way through. And because I already have it punched, all I need to do is line it up and punch out that hole. So that is the first half completed to our project. And you can see just how cute this is going to be. So now on to piece number two. Now we need to free up our tabs. I am just going to cut straight across here and I'll angle in here just a little bit. I'll cut straight across here. I'm going to angle in there. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So this is how that second piece should look. You're going to have a score at three and a score at four, and we're going to flare out our tabs just like this. So now we're going to place our tape on these two top pieces here. So I am going to go ahead and just tape that and close it. Do the same thing over here. I accidentally placed tape there by mistake, but that's no biggie. We're just going to go ahead and place our tape right here. So then just like before, we need to go ahead and place down our pieces because we want to do that while we can still work in the smaller half pieces. So I am going to go ahead and this time I'm going to use my double stick tape because this is a lot of space to cover with a tape runner. So I'm going to cover both of my pieces that measure six and three quarters by 10 and three quarters in tape and I'll be right back. All right y'all, so I have tape on the back of both of my 10 and three quarter by six and three quarter inch pieces and I am just going to place these down like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just like before, I am going to punch out my opening. And then I'll flip it over and I'm going to take that second piece and we're going to place it down just like we did the first piece. Then I'll flip it over. Again, I'm going to go back in. And again, I'll use my hole punch to punch my hole. And when we add the paper front and back, this takes this poster board and it makes it very, very sturdy. So now I'm going to take my final piece that measures three and a half by six and three quarters, place it down on the inside, just like we did the other piece. So I am going to use my tape runner. And guys, if you don't want to put down as many layers as you see me putting down right here, that's certainly an option that's available to you. You can actually stop at this point here, but I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add another layer just so that I could have that contrasting look on the inside. So when I place this down, I am going to try to place it straight. So I've placed that on top. 
Again, I'm going to take my stylus and just make a score so that I can fold this over. And this just finishes off the top very nicely, but it also gives you a nice contrast to your project. So now I'm going to take that hole punch one more time. I'm going to go in and just try to line it up. And now I have my second hole punched. And so now y'all, we can put our box together. It's going to be very easy at this point. We are going to take the two ends that are three inches and we're just going to place them down on top of one another. And for this, I'm going to use that reptile glue I love because I want some wiggle room as I'm trying to place this. So I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to place it down, I'll flip it over, make sure I have it nice and straight, and that's why it's a good idea to use your glue for this step. And the back of your box is actually the part where we don't have the scores here. So now we can just bring this up and we can put it together just like this. So we're just bringing it up and we're going to join it together. So I am going to go ahead and add glue to this side tab. I'll bring up that back. Now we can add glue to the other side and join the two pieces together. And now I'll do the same thing over here. So I'm going to place my glue. I'll take this piece. We're going to put it down. And then I'll add glue to this piece. Then we're going to place that down. Now we can stand our box up to make sure that we have everything nice and straight. Don't worry about if your sides are ugly right now because we are going to cover them and we're going to be covering them in the two pieces that measure two and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I am just going to place that there for a minute. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I'm going to take those two and three quarter inch pieces by four and three quarter inch pieces. And on the four and three quarter inch side, I'm going to score at one. And I'll score both of these at one. And then I'll just crease that. And now we'll take these two and I'm just going to go ahead and just put them down with some glue. And we can take these two and we're going to place them right there on the side. Now I'll go in with my bone folder and get that nice and stuck. And so now we have that piece on the side. We'll do the same thing on this side. So I am just going to take some of my glue And now I can take this piece. We're going to put it down. I'll go on the inside. And we'll get it nice and stuck. And so now I'm going to take the two pieces that measure two and seven eighths by two and three quarters. And I am going to add glue. And we're just going to finish off these side panels and make them nice and firm. So when I go in on the inside, I'm going to take this and I'm placing it so that the two and three quarter inch side is what I start laying down. And I'll use my bone folder to go in and get that nice and stuck. And then I'll hold it so that you guys can see that inside. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to add my glue to my two and seven eighths by two and three quarter inch piece. When I place it in, I'm placing it in so that the two and three quarter inch piece 
is going in this way on that side. And now I'll just use my bone folder to get that nice and stuck. And so there we have a most beautiful box. You can actually take this box and you can let it sit and rest like this with the front hanging down. If you want, you can add some magnets and push this back, but it is meant to be a drop front box. So the front is going to drop down and the back will remain straight up so that we can add all types of goodies in here to give as a gift. So what I have placed on the inside are some bath products and a coordinating candle. And you can see how easy it is to carry this and give it as a gift. So when I was first designing this, I was making it as a carrier for two coffee cups. Now, this is still a great idea and a great way to carry two coffee cups. But on this one, I decided to fill it with some awesome smell good bath products. All right, y'all, so let's decorate our sweet little box. I am going to focus mainly on decorating the inside of the drop front. So when it's open like this, this is where I'm going to have most of the decoration. So I have decided to go with some of my burlap flowers and then I'm going to put down a few pieces of greenery and then some other flowers. So I'm just going to build it up a little bit, but it's going to start with this flower. So I am going to add just a little bit of glue to the back and we're just going to place that down. So if you decide to have this sitting out, you'll have a really cute front to it. Then I'm going to take a leaf here and maybe one here. Yeah, just a little bit of glue. And a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to take one of these flowers and I'm just going to put it in up there. I'll take one of these flowers and I'm going to tuck it in right there. And then I'm going to take another leaf and I'm just going to bring my leaves out a little bit because I'm going to take another small burlap flower and just place it right there. And then for symmetry, I am going to add just another little leaf tucked in right there. And now I think I have what is a sweet little front to this box. So when it's sitting up like this, you'll have that beautiful spray on the front. Then I think I am just going to take one of my Dollar Tree stickers. I'm going to take the one that says, believe in yourself. And we're going to put it right there. So whether we put cups or the bath products in here, we'll carry it like this. And then we can let that front drop down and we'll have this beautiful look when it's sitting up. So if you want, you can actually do some decorating to the front. I would keep the front decorations as flat as possible because when we do that drop front, we do want this piece to fall against this piece. And if you add anything of bulk here, then this piece won't fall down flat. But you can see how gorgeous this is. It is absolutely beautiful and so easy to make. So I have brought the first one back in so that you can see one with the cups and then one emptied. I haven't decorated the front of this one yet, but this is such a super sweet project. I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. And be on the lookout because my friend Robin is going to take the same design and do it in a Christmas theme for us. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.